For those of you that know me, you'll know I'm a real dick when it comes to sound and vision quality. So if you're all seeing this, and it looks like this, and it sounds like this, then you know this is something important to me. I'm Salamander85, and this is the Lowdown Rant. Whew. That's much better. Well, I was going to start with a neat little segment of going through the most recent things that have been happening in the past couple of days, past couple of weeks. Calling it the lowdown. But, this is a bit of a rush job because it's been taking a lot longer than I thought to uh, get the lighting in here all working and stuff. So, today I'm going to be starting my new show, TLDR, with the biggest case of TLDR, not just in this election campaign, but the whole year. That's right, I'm talking about the plan. Real solutions for all Australians. Also known as the Liberal Party of Australia's policy booklet. Now, you may have been hearing for a very long time now, not just in the election campaign, but pretty much all year, about policy costings. Everyone has been asking the Liberal Party, where are your policy costings? We should have these. And especially in the past few weeks, you may have been thinking, well, what's so bad about that? It's an election campaign. They can do it whenever they want, as long as it's before the day. But you see, if they'd released their policy booklets sometime during the campaign, then yeah, sure, this would be fine. But they released it in January. And when I downloaded it a week ago, I thought, you know, maybe they have a revised edition for starting up the website and having all this cool JavaScript and Flash. Wow, it's amazing. But, uh, nope. It's uh, still the same edition from January. Now, the reason for this whole mess about policy costings is because if we skip to the last page, like most journalists have done all year, it says all coalition policies are affordable and fully costed. Not once, but twice it says this. Well, yeah, if they're going to say that, then of course we want to know. Prove it. Because, well, we really don't have any reason to trust them, do we? I mean, they say, oh, you've trusted us for the past three years. You've passed, you can trust us now for another year of lies. But I have one more gripe with this. It says coalition. It says coalition all the way through this Liberal Party policy booklet. Now that's probably because they know that people like me have been saying, you watch every election year. Before the election year, it's all coalition, labor, coalition, labor, opposition, government, coalition, labor. And then suddenly the polls change during the election year and it becomes labor, liberal, labor, liberal. This is quite simple. It's because it's worked for a very long time to let people forget about the nationals. That means that when people in rural and regional Australia are voting national as they always do, um, so they forget. They're thinking, oh geez, I hate both of these buggers, I'm voting national because that's different. Well, no. Voting national is voting for this douchebag. Voting liberal is definitely voting for this douchebag. But I have one more gripe with this. It says coalition. It says coalition all the way through this liberal party policy booklet. Now that's probably because they know that people like me have been saying, you watch every election year. Before the election year, it's all coalition, labor, coalition, labor, opposition, government, coalition, labor. And then suddenly the polls change during the election year and it becomes labor, liberal, labor, liberal. This is quite simple. It's because it's worked for a very long time to let people forget about the nationals. After more than a thousand days of refusing to appear on the ABC because of how much of a fool they made himself look, which, well, let's be honest, it's not that hard to do when he doesn't have his mind is telling him exactly what to say. 
But when he finally did come along and talk to Lee Sales again, Except this that. is what he had to say uh, about the but coalition. Look at our record. Uh, the coalition is the party. What? Uh, the coalition is the party. That's right. He said the coalition is the party, which is the complete opposite to what they were doing before. Now he wants people to associate the coalition with mostly the liberal side and the face of Tony Abbott. We finally had an answer to what he'd been saying all year, well, at least all election campaign, about these policy costings. And that is, they will be released in due time. Due time? No, due time. Which, as we now know, is the last week of the election. Which is now. So far it's been two days. Nothing. So it's probably going to come out either tomorrow night, Wednesday straight after the blackout, maybe even Thursday, but definitely not the Friday because they told everybody it's not going to be the Friday. Another major thing that this whole booklet, this pamphlet, more than a plan, has kept on saying is they're going to reduce the cost of living for the average Australian. And what's the silver bullet for doing this? Cutting the carbon tax. Because that's clearly what's been hurting all of us. Not really. It's actually been hurting big industries like mining because it means they have to actually keep an eye on the amount of pollution they're putting out while they're getting all of this energy out of the ground. Reducing the cost of living? Well, according to this article from the smh.com.au, things have actually been pretty good. To cut the cost of living wouldn't take that much work at all. So effectively, they're going to cut taxes to give us what we already have. On the note of tax, another notable thing they've said is they're going to cut the company tax by a moderate amount without a mining tax. So what? That's not going to affect us, right? Well... And by cutting the only tax that's trying to keep the majority of that profit from mining in this country. That's right. The money coming from digging up resources in this country. All they want to do is keep some of the money in this country that they're getting it from. Oh, but no, they, they employ Australians. They're run by Australians. Yeah, that may be true. But uh, the companies aren't Australian. In fact, a lot of the major iron ore projects come from China. And Gina Reinhardt invested in them overseas. She's Australian, but her company's not. And also, they keep on saying the mining tax isn't making as much money as it said it would. Well, that's probably because the estimates made for this tax were before the dramatic fall in the iron ore price, which happened to happen conveniently the quarter immediately before revenue was starting to be collected from this tax. The other reason that the Liberal Party say they want to get rid of the mining tax is to, quote, restore Australia's reputation as a safe and reliable place to invest. Fair enough, right? I mean, Australia is still a great place to invest in mining, even though the coal price has dropped because the world is oversupplied. Uh, and don't worry, we'll make sure those greenies don't bug your coal mining projects and dredging up the Great Barrier Reef so we can make it a shipping lane to get the coal out of Australia from the enormous mine they're building up there. I think it's about nine kilometers long. And don't worry, you know, these pesky greenies are not going to make it difficult for you to have your investments worthwhile. That's right, because under a coalition government, we're going to get rid of the climate change department. They're going to cut the clean energy fund, and they're going to make sure that all coal seam gas projects do not, I repeat, do not need to report their environmental impact statements to not only the state government and agencies 
associated with protecting the environment that they want to dig up, but also a federal department where it gets scrutinized and people actually read it and they look at the science and they see that this statement is full of crap. Don't worry, under a coalition government, this won't happen. I mean, it's not like they had to spend, I don't know, three weeks getting it through the Senate to make sure that places like Queensland actually have to do some research and show they're not going to impact on the environment at all. Don't worry, it's under a coalition government, this won't happen. And we will restore Australia's international reputation as a safe and reliable place to invest. Well, that's it for now. Um, I'll try and get through as much as I can. Tomorrow uh, I'll be focusing on some more nitty gritty parts. Possibly looking at the superannuation comments people have made about that. Oh, and definitely, 